Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us here on The Morning Show. Now, when applying for a new job, many of us worry that we won't be qualified enough. But what happens in the case where you've lost your job and you're having to apply for a job uh, for which you are overqualified? Here with some practical advice is recruitment specialist and industrial psychologist, Fiona Martin. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning, William. Thank you for having me. Why would someone apply for a job that they are overqualified for in the first place, Fiona? So, William, I'll give two reasons. Um, I think the first and probably most obvious one um, is when an individual is in a less than ideal situation. So this is where maybe they found themselves retrenched. Um, it's a bad economy, so it's very difficult to come across jobs. So in that case, of course, you know, if, with the requirement of trying to get an income immediately, an individual individual might then settle and opt to take a job that, you know, they are less qualified or that is more junior to what their experience is. Sometimes it could be things like moving cities and moving towns and maybe the industry you're working on in is not as developed in that particular area, right? Mm. Another one, William, um, is people who might want a change in lifestyle. So perhaps you worked in an industry where there's long hours, maybe this shift maybe, you know, uh, very demanding in terms of lots of travel, right? Those type of things. So in that regard, a person wanting then a different lifestyle or a career that, you know, maybe offers them more time at home, you know, less travel, less demanding hours might then, you know, sacrifice and opt to then take a job which they are less qualified for just, I think, to get some of those benefits that come with a new job or a new industry. What are the concerns, Fiona, what? of an employer when they come across an application of a candidate who is too qualified for the job. Yeah, so I mean, you would think that an employer might think it's a bargain that they get someone who is overqualified, but many times it causes concern because William, the recruitment process, one, it's very time consuming, and two, there's also cost associated. So employers typically want people who are going to have tenure at the company, right? So when they often come across a CV of a candidate who's overqualified, they often perceive them as a flight risk. So their interpretation is, well, actually, this person is desperate and therefore they are using this, you know, as a stopgap until something better comes along. So they're normally perceived as a flight risk. Another one, William, as well, is that they normally feel that the person will be bored in the job, right? So this is obviously, you know, below your skill level, below your experience level. So they, they generally feel like, well, you're not going to appreciate the job because you're going to be bored. You're not going to be, you know, motivated and that might cause you to be disengaged, you know, in the long term. And I think lastly, a key one as well is cost, because when they generally see a very experienced and qualified candidate with maybe all these qualifications, right, the first thing that they think is, well, obviously, this person is going to want to be paid, uh, you know, in line with what their experience is. And often, I guess that lesser job is most likely not going to match the salary uh, package that that individual is used to. So those are some of the key concerns. And obviously, Fiona, during this current climate, most people will be looking for jobs and will, po will probably be asked to come in for an interview for a job that they are overqualified for. How do you then navigate that situation? Yeah, so great question. I think, you know, first of all, a lot of job seekers, you know, who are in that particular situation usually ask me to say, should I water down my experience? Or, you know, the, the term is, should I dumb down my CV so that I don't come across as, you know, too intimidating for this role? So I think where you've been able to come for an interview, right, is address the elephant in the room up front. So if mm. you think, you know, no one is going to notice and no one is going to ask, they will. So it is actually better that you up front state what your motives are for coming into a role that is more junior to your experience, right? Um, so it could, you know, for example, be, be talking about, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you want a change in lifestyle. So this role is actually perfect for where you are in your life or in your career, right? Maybe you want something, you know, that, that is less demanding for whatever reason. Another thing, William, is you can actually sell it as a benefit, right? So because the employer will be wary to say, uh, you know, are you going to be motivated? You know, are you going to be here for the long term? You can actually say that, look, I know that I'm overqualified or I've got more you know, experience than what you require, but you can then turn that around and say, as a result of that one, 
if there should be any responsibilities, you know, that are above that role, you're able to take them on, you know, easily with minimal training, right? Mm. And you can also then state up front, I think, around the salary issue, because that's often, you know, the biggest elephant in the room to say, well, you are earning this much. This is a junior role. It's not going to pay anywhere near that. So it's also really stating to and acknowledging that, look, I know that this is a more junior role, and I realize that it might come, you know, with less salary. So therefore, really showing your willingness to be flexible around the salary issue, because I think that's one of the, the, the deterrents around that. And, you know, in as much as it might be a role you're qualified for, look at the things that are actually new, right? Mm. To sort of like show your excitement, to show that, yes, there actually is a learning curve in, in spite of the fact that, you know, I mean, I've got five years more experience than what you guys required. So it could be highlighting, for example, the industry to say, look, this is a new industry to me. So I'm quite excited to actually work with that industry. Maybe it's the type of clients that they deal with. So find something that is a bit of a novelty in that role to actually show them that, yes, you know, there is a little bit of growth and also to to show, I guess, you know, that you will be motivated or at the very least in the medium term, you know, to, to, to remain engaged in that particular role. I like that. That's very encouraging. Like so it. highlight all the things that you could use um, to apply yourself within that role, although you are overqualified. Absolutely. That's Fiona Martin chatting to us this morning about what to do when you're applying for a job that you are overqualified for. And I imagine a lot of us will find ourselves in the situation, given the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, a lot of people losing their jobs, most people changing jobs as a result. Uh, we're taking a quick ad break, coming back with more. Stay with us.